Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm just saying my piece and um, this is my series on how to build your dream house in Jamaica. This is going to be the second part as promised and this part we're going to de will deal with all the legalities of purchasing your house, um, your land and getting your title. I would also like to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you very much. Seem as if you all like it, so I'll continue to give you great content. Also, I'd like to thank my returning subscribers and remind all you beautiful people out there who have been watching but have not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button also and um, just, you know, big up the likes because that is how we get to move from point A to point B. You know how these things are. So without any further ado, that's stupid. People always say that. Why do we always say that? We're just going to get into it, right? All right, let's just get into it. So thanks again and um, here we go. Now, I have been asked severally um, and by many people about the process of buying property in Jamaica and whether or not foreigners are allowed to buy property in Jamaica and the short answer is yes it, it's as simple as that having bought your property in Jamaica you have now um, acquired all the rights as any ordinary Jamaican citizen um, and you have all the protections under the law as any ordinary Jamaican citizen so there and the government as it is clearly stated here the government they do welcome this sort of investment so one should never be afraid to invest in real estate in jamaica it is quite welcome now having made the decision that you're going to leave the ukraine russia brazil the united states canada and you are going to live in Jamaica and you are going to purchase your land. Well, the process is really not very hard at all. It is quite simple. And we are going to just run through them one at a time. And they are quite, they are easily listed here and they are quite clearly listed here. Begin your property search. You have found what you want. And so having found what you want and it's the perfect property for you, then you go ahead and you make your offer. Um, once you have made an offer on the property and the, the property offer has been accepted, then the next step is to get a land survey and a title search conducted. So you have to do your land survey and a title search. Well, what that entails is go, you're know, going to the land authority and putting in the, the there should be a folio number that you will be given or your real estate agent should do that for you to be honest if you are a foreigner buying land in jamaica it is pretty much always simpler to have a local somebody who understands the ins and outs of the culture to do these local things for you you will get through much faster and with a whole lot less frustration and quite frankly if you really have to do these things by yourself in jamaica being a foreigner you are going to become unbelievably frustrated given the fact that our culture tends to be a little bit more on the laissez faire side of things um we don't really move that quickly in jamaica not that it's a bad thing, but sometimes people do want a little bit more alacrity. So yes, so a land survey and land title search should be conducted. And that is usually done at the, either the, the titles office or the land authority authority or the land um, agency. There are many ag different agencies that, that this is done at. And your local real estate agent should be able to point you in the right direction take you to the right places or in fact do those things for you having decided on the land having found that you it, it the, the title is in order and there is in fact a survey a recent survey diagram or at least one that is on record that is accepted by the land authority and not in dispute you will then need your sales agreement which is your you know the number four thing on the list as you can quite clearly see here um number five so you are you will upon signing you will typically need to pay a deposit of 10 to 20 percent 
and you know that's just like normal in any any pretty much anywhere else anything that you are buying and you're not paying cash up front you're going to have to pay a deposit well in this instance is around 10 to 20 percent and then the balance can be paid well it does say by installments here but typically it is based on the on the agreement that you make you will also be required to pay um, all the taxes and fees up front you will be required to pay a uh, stamp duty which will be um, which will amount to around five thousand dollars and that is split equally between the buyer and the seller um two thousand five hundred dollars each two thousand five hundred dollars each which is approximately uh, 20 something uh, um, us dollars there's also a transfer tax of two percent of the purchase price and this will be paid entirely by the seller. There's also a registration fee, and this registration fee amounts to half a percentage of the purchase price and is payable to the register of titles. And of course, it is split equally between the buyer and the seller. So, in the case of unregistered land, a nominal recording fee is required. And I, at this point, I must put in a word of caution. Do not buy unregistered land under any circumstances. Do it, it's a, it's a, If I were to give you, uh, as a foreigner, if you were going to purchase land in Jamaica, and I were to give you one word of advice, it's very simple. Do not buy unregistered land. If the land has no title, no clear title, and no um, survey document, do not purchase anything of it. Do not be swayed by any argument. Just leave it alone. It is as simple as that. So, it is always recommended that you seek the advice of an attorney and one preferably experienced in real estate law whenever you are purchasing real estate in Jamaica, even if you are a local. Most locals do not do this but it is recommended if you are a foreigner or if you are a returning resident this is absolutely crucial because as you know and I'm sure most people know um, there are scammers everywhere so uh, an attorney an attorney is an absolute necessity and of course his fees will be in the region of about two to three percent of your purchase price total purchase price and of course Jamaica has a 16.5 percent consumption tax which will be uh, you know added to the purchase price as well there is also a property tax now the property tax on land that has not been developed or improved is very very basic and very very simple and it is based on the amount of land but um, and it is more or less a an assessment so the amount of land that you have you will not know how much the property taxes will be until the you are informed of it by the land authority at some point after which after your purchase now so you have paid your registration fee of, of approximately uh, half a percentage for the, of the purchase price of the land and that is payable to the registrar of, registrar of titles. What that entitles you to is the title. Now this does take quite some time for you to get but don't be alarmed. It is Jamaica. You will eventually get it. Um, the, one of the issues you may run into is that it may be a little bit more difficult for you to get approval from the local parish council to begin building on your land when you submit your application for your building application if you do not have the title but then there are ways of getting around that which essentially involves the ministry giving you a a document which states categorically that yes your title has been has been applied for and so on and so forth so that is not a that's not an insurmountable problem so now that you're committed you have purchased your land uh, you have looked at it it looks beautiful to you you have made all your arrangements your mind is made up and you have 
you are all but done moving. Uh, you are going to want to know about cost. So our next video will be about cost. Um, we'll talk about we'll talk a little bit about design and design characteristics what you need to do um, what sort of designs would be probably be best for you suited for you based on your needs and all that but first we are going to talk about cost we're going to talk about cost of building materials cost of labor and uh, other in, uh, incidental cost so Thanks for watching. Um, please like my videos because you know how this works on YouTube. Um, please subscribe for my first time people who have not subscribed or the people who have watched the videos but and have enjoyed them but have not subscribed. And I would ask you to please share on your various platforms so we can, you know, grow this little thing here and uh, get this information out to as many people as possible. So thank you for watching and you have a good day.